welcome to today's daily hypnosis session. I hope that you're well and I hope the day's been good for you so far. Which brings me to today's subject. Judging something to be good or bad. Do we really need to do that? Can something really be good or bad in itself? Or is it just our perception and the thoughts that we have about those particular events or feelings which makes me wonder about the idea of labelling a day, a whole day good or Because I don't know about you, but for me, it can be a mixture of emotions. There can be days where maybe there's more pain, either physically or emotionally, than other days. Does that make it a painful day? There's days where everything seems to go really well. Everyone seems to be pleased to see me. I'm stressing the word seems. How much of that is just our perception? at the time. Can we read minds? Do we know that that person is either pleased or non-pleased? Is there any point to labelling things? when they're just things. Is this a good day? Is it a bad day? Is it an in-between day? Or is it a day? It's a day. And you know what, in some ways, isn't every day a good day? You're breathing. I'm breathing. That's a good day. You're alive. I'm alive. Surely that's a good thing. So therefore the day can't be all bad if you're breathing and you're alive and you can feel. I can feel. You're able to experience life through your emotions and through your senses and so can I that's pretty good really I guess but what is good 
maybe it just is. Is what I see good or bad? Or is it just what it is? Does the song that I listen to have to be a good song or a bad song? Do I have to like it or dislike it? Or can it just be a song? Something that's pleasant to me. Maybe to you. So what is a good day? That's a question. What makes up a good day? What makes up a bad day? And does a bad day really exist? Unpleasant days, but is the entire day unpleasant? There might be 30 seconds in a 24 hour period when you might have felt okay, but you didn't notice it. You may have had some sleep and rested. That might have been pleasant. You may have eaten something that was nice to taste. Sometimes it's easy to forget to just focus and notice. Notice things that are actually happening now. So easy to realize that there's stuff going on. Your senses are being stimulated, and there's an opportunity for pleasure in so many ways, so many opportunities through taste looking at something nice, something that you like, listening to something that you find enjoyable, touching something that gives you pleasure. So many ways that you can make the most of each moment. So that instead of a day being this or that, you can allow yourself to get in touch with the fact that each day is different and each day is made up of thousands of individual moments, sensory moments. And by allowing yourself to experience more of those sensory pleasures in the moment, can allow you to enjoy more of your day can allow you to be more in touch with each moment. Instead of just looking at it as an overall day you can remember the individual moments and you can enjoy the rest of the day feeling wonderful.